What's going on guys, this is Mr. DeLorean here, let's a brand new video, and today what I want to do is kind of give my so far thoughts on 13 Reasons Why Season 3. Now I haven't been put, like I didn't put my, like a review out or whatever for any episodes because I'm kind of like slowly watching it or anything because I watch with family or anything, so I'm kind of slowly watching it and stuff. So far I'm on episode 7 of the show, so I kind of want to give my thoughts up to that point or anything. I'm not going to do like a full in-depth like breakdown of every episode and review or anything, that's for like later on when I finish the season, like you know, get my thoughts together on it. But my thoughts so far, so this season is completely different like it it looks different than any other season i'll put it that way because this season they basically made like there's in the flashback scenes they just have the usual kind of yellow kind of tone look over it or whatever not tone but you know it kind of has a yellow color palette over like flashbacks or anything but when you get to the actual show there's like kind of like the cinematic bars and it looks really like bluish and like darkish and kind of grimy which i thought's really cool the only part i don't like about the cinematic bars is how sometimes what during like the show the cinematic bars will just kind of just like, you can see them like move out of frame and it's just like kind of weird like, it's not like it's kind of like a, a bit of a nitpick i'd honestly say it's not too bad of an issue but you know um the look is really good like i said the look like with like kind of like the bounce back and forth between like kind of like yellow color palette to like, kind of the dark and grimy you know stuff that's all really good um i've seen a lot of people um talk about about you know the character Ani and or anything I don't think she's horrible honestly I definitely could see why people don't like her I could see 100% I can honestly like when someone says oh I don't like her I could be like okay I per without them even saying like why they don't I could honestly understand why they don't and I could honestly say yeah fine I actually don't like that she came in this season and all of a sudden just knows everything because I think she's like been in the school for eight months after like you know the spring fling situation with Tyler about to ship the school so I think she's only been in like you know all the way up to there or whatever only for like eight months and anything so i guess it's enough for her to kind of gather like somewhat information but i could see where people are coming from where she like also like sh where she just knows just too much and yeah for her to be someone who narrates the entire season that is another thing that doesn't bother me but at the same time it's just it is a bit weird um characters i really don't like this season um there's this character that's kind of part of jessica's group she has kind of glasses and i really don't don't like her she's just super fucking annoying and just such an unlikable character so what they did and this is kind of spoilers towards the show and everything like season three and everything so if you haven't seen it kind of click off now i guess it's kind of the whole video is kind of spoilers but so basically bryce's funeral whatever at bryce's funeral they have an idea to protest the funeral which is fucking dumb because like jessica said in like you know the episode where they were about like gonna do or what are they planning or whatever is that obviously if you protest you're not gonna look any better than him or whatever because obviously their family's mourning which is perfectly true and they do it anyway and they end up looking like a bunch of assholes to at least me and i'm pretty sure a ton of other people so yeah that character just really blows and just is such a dumb and annoying character to just have around like people like people are saying ani is like annoying or anything like she's not even edge like annoying compared to this one girl that's like you know the, like i'm pretty sure everyone knows who i'm talking about if they've seen like you know the season or at least up to episode seven but um another character i don't like is zach now this really really bugged me or anything is zach is just such an asshole this season along with alex and jessica but we'll get in those two like later so zach is like they spent like season one zach was kind of yet again just like kind of a bit of like a jock just like bryce you know montgomery and just like alex and all of them were kind of just assholes and everything because they obviously didn't want the tapes to get out or anything or i'm going to find out with the tapes then season two they spent all season basically making us feel bad for him and make giving him a kind of like a story and everything and like a redemption arc of him you know going against bryce and all of the others and everything and kind of like you know giving us a more of a sensitive side of him to the point where I actually liked him in season two. I really liked like Zach and everything. But then we get into season three and he's just back to being a complete jaw. Well, I wouldn't say a jock, but just like an asshole that no one really likes or whatever. Because this season he's just like, oh, why don't we turn in Tyler or whatever? Or, or like, why the fuck are you guys talking to me or whatever? And he's just such like an ass and everything. Let's move on to Alex and Jessica. So Alex is just an asshole, just a fucking, just annoying, always angry character and everything. Just uh, like, oh, oh, Jess, what the fuck? And anything it's just annoying jessica is just such like i like honestly please don't get offended by this but jessica is such a bitch this season like i understand they're trying to go for the strong woman or strong women or anything and type stuff but at the same time they kind of just make her into an asshole in anything like if you even talk to her about like oh this is a bit too far whatever she just gets in your face and fucking just yells at you and everything it's just such a like ass character like yet again season two season one well season one she 
she was a bit of an ass to or anything, but I get, you can see why. But season two, she actually, you like felt bad for her or anything. You're like, oh, she's going through a struggle. I just want to hug the character or anything because she's such a nice character. But yet again, like Zach and everything, you know, how they spent like a season two redemption arc or whatever, and then get the end of season three and they're just an asshole. So yeah, like that character, the glass and everything, kind of Jessica's group, Jessica, Alex, and Zach and everything, all just really just asinine, annoying characters this season. Also, this is while editing and everything, but I really did also like some more so characters I do like this season. I really do like Tyler's character and kind of how he is like, you know, acting around everyone. Like the actor that plays him does such an amazing job at capturing, you know, the I'm basically scarred now and everything type like, you know, person. Like Tyler's such a fucking good character this season and I absolutely love his character. There's some really good moments between him and just everyone else, like such as Clay, Tony, and just all the characters. I mean, he's not good around Jessica and Alex and all those others because obviously yet again, they're just assholes to everyone even if they're in their same position as they were like honestly they're making bryce bryce for fuck's sake look better than them and everything and bryce is you know like obviously a rapist or anything but that kind of brings me on to him and everything i really like bryce's character this season i love you know he's just like yet again you can't really a hundred percent like him because obviously you know of the shit he's done in the back of you know all like all the other past two seasons but yeah, i really do like the moments like where he actually is a person where he's not just someone who takes what he wants right? I just do like when he is like a genuine person do I believe he could change or you know did I believe he could change since you know he dies this season whatever and if that's found out I think like episode two or just earlier this season did I believe he could change yeah he I could see him like actually changing and honestly that all goes around to me actually really I didn't want him to die this season I really didn't want him to because once you get farther into the season yet again episode seven where I am at, at the moment or anything that if you get to this like part of you're kind of like wow I actually wish someone else died like you know if Zach died Died, okay, that would have been so much better or whatever. And I'll kind of, I'll kind of get into that, like you know, in another video, because at the moment, I'm, all of my thoughts fully developed on that. But I do think he should have died, you know, instead of Bryce, because obviously Bryce could have went on a really good redemption arc. Because if you see like a lot of the moments Bryce has in this season, you actually start to go, wow, I wish we had more time to see this and everything than just him dying. Like there was this really good scene, and I forgot which episode. I think it was episode five, six, or whatever, where he has like kind of like you know, like a fun moment with his mom. I think something we've never seen. In this series before but then you're like oh okay that's cool we're never gonna get to fucking see that again or i think he's dead now obviously there are some moments where he is a bit of an ass and everything or a bit like you know kind of like yeah i guess a little bit ass and i think it's not annoying like you know alex jessica and zach and you know that other girl he just gets a bit uh, like off the rails or anything but he's not actually a bad person this season he's actually a lot better of a person and i really really do like his character but besides all that and everything all the other characters are kind of just you know them and clay's just kind of still is like his like you know it, like his nose and everything type person i do like justin and like you know clay's kind of brother dynamic in this season or anything that are really like good together and everything but yeah that was kind of really the thoughts i have on the, up to ev episode seven so far and everything i'll have like you know a decent like i'm not gonna do like a full breakdown of like every episode because that would obviously just be too much or anything and like you know the third reasons why would probably be like washed over like by the time i get that like got that done or whatever and everyone probably would be like moved on to a different show or whatever waiting for season four but I'll definitely do a full kind of like you know thing where I go through like 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 five episodes in like one like each video or anything and kind of just do like a quick thing but besides that and everything that was kind of the video um also I did want to kind of talk about something kind of about the channel more than like you know what happened to this video or anything I did change my profile picture my banner or anything because I felt like my brand banner also was just dumb looking it was just put on too serious it didn't really show who i am so i decided to put something a bit silly and everything i do the youtubes and type of stuff and i think just something kind of silly and also i decided to change my profile picture from the fucking train wreck of a profile picture that i had earlier to a kind of new silly one that actually is a picture that i took last night anything because i want to change my banner to something yet again more silly but yep that was kind of the video and everything i guys did enjoy make sure to leave your thoughts down below of what you guys think of like the season or anything so far or what you guys did think of the season make sure not to leave too many spoilers down below things yet again i'm not finished with the series yet so you know if you I don't know. but yeah make sure to leave your thoughts down below on the season or anything and again don't leave any spoilers for people that haven't seen you all the way up there or whatever and yet best you guys a leader peace of amigos make sure to consider subscribing i see you guys a leader peace of amigos and peace out